in again. Okay. Oh, we're back at Mescal Lake today. Me, Brad, and Lewis. I've done a video last night on the mix that we're using uh, in the PVA bags and also something to go up in the feeder. I got one first cast, a small common. Lewis has just caught. This was a small common too. Both of us got that on corn. This is only our fourth time here at the lads. I haven't long started fishing, getting hang of it now. But this is probably the coldest day we've had since we've been coming here. Got two rods out, one on a PVA bag, middle of the way, with a um, small pop up on. And the other is a metal feeder close in to the margin. And that's the one that I got um, the first fish on. So, literally, a few minutes after I just spoke to you, just got my second fish, a bigger mirror, probably about seven or eight pound. And this is the mix that I did the video on last night, as you can see, a little bit of pellets in it. I've, I've, I've since, since I've got to the water, I've added some corn, it's got hemp in it. Um, and then the rest of it is the a little bit of ground bait and the boilies that I put into the Nutri bullet, yes, last night, uh, and that's what I've been putting on the feeder. Fruit bait, just a double, double sweet corn, and it seems to be doing the trick. I'm literally just squeezing it on. No need for the mould, and I'll show you where I'm fishing. Where I'm fishing, it's literally just here, right next to the reeds. Also show you my rod setup as well. As you can see, what I've actually got. I'm using my old float rod, float rod with a heavier juicy line and um, heavy juicy reel. I've got to say that's the, that's always seems to catch on here. So it just has a bit, a bit of luck. But I've recently bought these two uh, bite alarms, which are the Delkin EVs. I've got to say since I went over it's great and that's partly because when I'm fishing with the kids I'm up and down and moving across the bank etc you know when you do miss fish you, know, you certainly miss bites anyway um, but these are, are, are brilliant there's three dials on them um, the first dial is for sensitivity the second dial is for volume and the third dial um, is for tone and I've just got the two tones set differently so this one here I'm fishing in the margin is a higher tone on the left hand side and the one on the right is a deeper tone so I know which rod it is um, if I'm not stood by my rods and you hear them going you know straight away which one it is Beam this time. Fish on loop. What are you little beam, isn't it? That's ten. Yeah. I think that's the slowest we've got. Once again, it's a nice handful on. Squeeze it around the feeder. I did say when I done the video on this mix. Um, that it brings the smaller fish in and hopefully you get the bigger ones later and that's exactly what seems to be happening because so far the three fish I've had had a small common about two with a mirror seven or eight um, and then I've just had a, a small bream so it's obviously bringing the small and the bigger okay so all the fish of course they're all on corn and I've got me the carp rod I've got that on a pop-up I've nothing on that so far this morning. So, and that's the one that's on the stick mix. So I think I'm going to bring that in and put it on, and put corn on the hook bait and put that out in the middle. So we've been in again. That's another bream. So that's so far three bream, two calf. All close in, all on corn. I've just swapped um, the calf rod, which is out in the middle. I've just put that on corn as well. So far, nothing yet. <laughs> Ironically, as I was actually swapping the bait on that, this one went 
we end up losing that one. It's always the way. Let Brad that's some line out. Don't reel the fish right in, Brad. So you've got tips of the water. It's good fish, that though. In a picture, Brad. Wait a minute. Uh, okay, so this is the rod that's been out in the middle of the lake. I've tried the pop up, never worked. I tried the corn. I did get a take on the corn, but I was on a, I was on another rod at the time and I'm losing that one. And this is something which I've been putting in the stick mix. It's actually dried fish. That's it. Um, I'm just going to. I said yesterday when I was making the stick mix, I said when I done the stick mix video that I would try this as a hook bait because I've never tried it before. So I'm just going to do that. Let's try something else. That's a piece of dried fish. On with the stick mix and let's see how that goes. That's how it's going to be. It's not something I've ever fished with before. I just I saw it in the Asian shop. Um, I've, used, I've, I've basically used it in the Nutribullet to put into the mix. But now I'm just going to see if it works as a hook bait. Always worth a try. So that's it. It's out. I've got a good feeling about it. Let's see what happens. It's only a little bream. No, it's only a bream. to put your feet on. You're only going in close in. And this is back into it on. Don't mind it in. Lift your rod up now. Up, 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 like that, yeah? Ready for the... Up, up. If it's not ready, it'll go. Lift your rod up, yeah? Right, wind it in a bit. Can't see it now. It's over there. This way, that way. The line's going too easy. Yeah. Right, reel it in, reel it in. Reel, reel it in, push it, right, and now, now we'll lift your load up, yeah? Reel it in, reel it. Yeah, come on, there it is. Here we go. On the boily, eh? On the boily. Look at that. Nice, though. Nice mirror. It's all right. Or my boilie, look. Oh, is it on the boilie? Yep. That's what you got to do. It's, it's a, not ready yet. Yeah, no, it's big, yeah, but it's not fighting. Well, it's not fighting. It is. Don't, don't go too much. Yeah. Oh. No, it's oh. alright, it's taking it. It's, see, it's taking it if it needs it. I'll yeah. Just let it, don't reel it, just let it go. Don't. Just have power, just see it. Yeah. Nice one, that, Brad. Hey. That's, it's fat. Fat, that, huh? yeah. Get your up back up, Brad. Come loose, come around this side. 
dad is in again. Not as big this one. Put the net in. Get underneath it. That's the one, son. Lost count. I would say about seven. No, or eight. Well, because you had six, so about three. The hook's already out. Oh, we've just had a little flurry for a couple of hours. We had about five, five decent carp on the bounce. Both rods are out in the middle now. Both on the lead, both on the stick mix. And that's what's doing it. We've done it early on in the margins. And then went a bit quiet and then went back out to the middle. And both rods have been catching now for the last two or three hours.